So in this class, we are going to start a new chapter. That is transportation problem. Chapter that is your transportation. It's name transportation. So what do you understand? Transportation. Something related to transportation. Company, right? When you click on that, it will show you similar that you can seller. This seller, the shipping cost, this seller is giving this cost, this cost, and sometimes you got the free shipping. So, what it happens that whatever you have, it depends on the sources from where you are ordering the product. And obviously, if it includes the cost, it depends on the shipping that where the product should be delivered. Like if you order from the Zomato, like if the restaurant is nearby within the range of 5 kilometers, so they can say that the delivery is free. So far you go away from the restaurant, your shipping charges will get increased. So what have transportation problem, that means every transportation problem can be represented as every transportation problem can be represented as M cross N matrix where M is the number of sources and N is the number of destinations. So if it is a transportation problem and we are saying that it is a matrix, so you can represent it as a matrix. So it has M rows. M rows are indicating that it has M sources and N columns indicating as your N destinations. So if you have this for the sources, Suppose you are denoting these sources, you are saying S1, this is S2 and you are taking, these are your M sources and the product is delivering at N destination, D1, D2 and these are your N destination. So if you are ordering something from source 1 and it should deliver to D1 because it is a matrix, so I am saying the transportation cost is T11. That is the transportation cost from source 1 to the destination 1. C12 will be the cost of transportation from source 1 to the destination 2. And similarly C1. C21 is the cost from the source 2 to the destination 1. So these are the costs related to your sources and destination. Sometimes when you see, when you order from online, so what you see that limited stock, five pieces left, only then you can order. Agar wo sare five pieces so sale ho hai, so can you order that product? No. So obviously at the source, what you have, you have the availability at each source. That the items available to them, that is your availability. So I am denoting that it the availability at the source one is A1. 
the availability at the source 2 is a2 and the availability at source m is am is it clear yes or no right so if you require anything they have five in stock so if you want only two quantities for that so kya aap sari panch kharidoge no so that means obviously at the destination what you have at the destination either there is your requirement or you can say it is your demand so the demand i am saying that my b1 b2 and your b n is it clear so if you have any transportation problem this data will be given to you that you have these sources these destination and the cost correspondingly will be given to you so there are now this will be given to you so what you have to find actually if this is given to you cost to aapko di jayegi availability aapko di jayegi रिक्वायरमेंट और डिमांड भी आपको दी जा रही है सो वट इज टू फाइंड प्रोडक्ट डिलीवर करने में सो दैट यू आर सेट आई एम टेकिंग एक्स आई जे दैट इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सप्लाइड फ्रॉम सोर्स आई to destination j is it clear so aap kitne product order karo taki aap kitne product sorry deliver karo like from source 1 to destination 1 source 1 to destination 2 source 1 to destination m so that your cost should be minimum so what are you saying that if i want to order X one one product here. X one two is the quantity here. X one is the quantity here. X two one is the here. X two two is here. So at obviously at every source to the concerned destination, the quantity of product matters. Is it clear? Right. So when it is the given to you that this is the cost, and you have to order the quantity, and I am saying. so you have to deliver the product in such a way that the cost should be minimized so what will be your objective over here that you will have objective that is my minimize red what will be the function kisko minimize karna hai cost ko cost kaise minimize hogi agar aapki s1 se d1 pe एक यूनिट की कॉस्ट ये एक यूनिट की कॉस्ट ही है टू रुपीज है एंड इफ यू हैव ऑर्डर थ्री यूनिट्स तो टोटल कॉस्ट कितनी हुई टू इंटू थ्री सो दैट मींस द टोटल कॉस्ट विल बी सी आई जे इंटू एक्स आई जे एंड इट विल बी सम ओवर आई एंड द सम ओवर जे कॉस्ट ही यही होगी सी वन वन एक्स वन सी वन टू एक्स टू right so this will be your cost right so if you want to find the relationship between ai and bjs so there are two types of transportation problem one is your balanced transportation problem and one is unbalanced transportation problem whenever we solve any question the problem should be in the balanced transportation if it is unbalanced we will convert that problem into balanced first then we can solve the same question actually came in your msc i have also said apply big m apply simplex every method you can apply only when your problem is in standard form but no one has seen xi is x1 was unrestricted in variable and unrestricted in sign so you have to convert that first into the standard form only then you can apply your big m method is it clear so obviously when you will solve the transportation problem directly bas method hi nahi lagane lag jana you have to see first 
is it balanced or it is unbalanced if it is unbalanced make it balanced then apply the method right so the same one is your balanced transportation problem that will say your sum of a i is equal to your sum of b j and your unbalanced is when sum of a i is not equal to sum of b j that means if you sum over a and sum over b agar wo dono equal aa rahe hain to aapki balanced transportation problem hai agar wo unequal aa rahe hain to aapki unbalanced transportation problem hai so this is the cost that you want to minimize what will be your constraints s man pe theek hai meri cost मैंने डिलीवर करने हैं प्रोडक्ट एक्स वन मान इज दूनिट जितने आप प्रोडक्ट ऑर्डर कर रहे हो क्वांटिटी एक्स वन टू एक्स वन पर एस वन के पास अवेलेबिलिटी कितनी है सिर्फ ए वन तो इफ आई हैव टेन यूनिट अवेलेबल टू मी क्या मैं टेन यूनिट से ज्यादा सप्लाई कर सकती हूँ नो राइट बिकॉज इट इज अ बैलेंस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम देन योर कंस्ट्रेंट विल बी समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन सॉरी J is equal to one, two n x i j will be equal to a i and i will vary from one to m. If you will fix i is equal to one, पहला constraint क्या बनेगा? X one one plus X one two plus X one n a one यही बनना चाहिए. That you have written. J is varying from one to n. I is fixed. X i j should be equal to AI. The same if you fix I is equal to two, it will become x two one, x two two, x two n. That will be equal to your A two. This will be the constraint corresponding to your availability. Demand. जितनी आपकी demand है, क्या उससे ज़्यादा order करोगे? No. So obviously here will be summation I is equal to one to m. X i j that will be equal to your b j and your j should vary from one to n. If you sum over the col rows of first column, x one one plus x two one plus x three one up to x m one. So what you constraint you will get corresponding to your first column and that will be equal to your b one. Is it clear? Obviously, it is the quantity. So x i j should be greater than equal to zero. I is equal to one to m. J is equal to one to n. Is it clear? Yes or no? Any doubt till here? Fine. If you have unbalanced transportation problem, the inequalities will be less than equal to type in both the cases. Because you cannot order the product, right? If it is not available, it should be less than the availability, and the, it should be less than equal to the demand if it is unbalanced case. So write down one remark. For that, correspondingly, we will do one example. Remark in a balanced transportation problem. having n sources and n destinations only m plus n minus 1 constraints will be linearly independent the problem which you have written here how many constraints do you have for the row you have n constraint for the column you have n constraint so total constraints are n plus n and the total variables x i j 
I is varying from 1 to M. J is varying from 1 to M. So what will be? So total number of variables. That will be your M into N. And your total number of constraints will be your M plus N. Is it clear? So if you have M plus N constraint, this remark is saying that if you have any balanced transportation problem, from M plus N constraint, only M plus N minus 1 will be your linearly independent constraint. That means उनमें से एक कंस्टेंट ऐसा होगा जो किसी के लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन में लिखा जा रहा है सो यू वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू इट्स प्रूफ यू कैन वेरीफाई फ्रॉम द एग्जांपल कंसीडर टू क्रॉस थ्री ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम राइट इफ यू हैव टू क्रॉस थ्री दैट मींस हाउ मेनी सोर्सेज यू हैव टू and how many destination you have d1 d2 and d3 and obviously the cost is here given is c11 c12 c13 c21 c22 c23 and the availability here is a1 a2 and the demand here is b1 b2 and b3 so if you have to write its lpp what will be its lpp that will be minimize that kya hoga xij pehle define karoge xij will be the quantity that is delivered from source i to the destination j or i aapka kahan se vary karega 1 to 2 and j will vary from 1 to 2 to 3 so what will be this i is equal to 1 to 2 पेपर में ऐसे ही नहीं लिख देना यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस जब यहाँ पे कॉस्ट दी जाएगी जब पोस्ट दिस इज टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एक्स वन वन एक्स वन टू एक्स वन थ्री एंड देन सम ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट टू फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट विल बी ऑफ एक्स वन वन प्लस एक्स वन टू प्लस एक्स वन थ्री दैट विल बी इक्वल टू योर ए वन एक्स टू वन This is corresponding to your row. What will be corresponding to columns? C, not C one one, X one one. The cost is given. The variable is X. X one one plus X two one. That should be equal to your B one. X one two plus X two two. That be be equal to B two. X one three plus. So if I am naming this equation, this is my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So if you will apply any operation, if I am doing one plus two minus three plus four, that I am actually showing you that it does not m plus n two constraints here, three here. तो टोटल फाइव कंस्ट्रेंट नहीं है इसमें बेसिकली इसमें लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट कंस्ट्रेंट कितने हैं एम प्लस एन माइनस वन दैट मींस यू हैव ओनली टू प्लस थ्री माइनस वन दैट यू हैव फोर कंस्ट्रेंट्स आर लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट वन इज जस्ट द रेपिटेशन ऑफ अदर सो इफ यू विल एड दिस थिंग यू कैन नोटिस दैट दिस इज एक्स वन वन प्लस एक्स वन टू प्लस एक्स वन थ्री प्लस एक्स टू वन माइनस एक्स वन वन प्लस एक्स टू वन प्लस एक्स वन टू प्लस एक्स टू टू इक्वल टू सम ओवर राइट हैंड साइड माइनस सम ओवर दिस राइट हैंड साइड सो इफ यू नोटिस एक्स वन वन विल बी कैंसल एक्स वन टू विल बी कैंसल एक्स टू वन विल बी कैंसल एक्स टू टू विल बी कैंसल सो वट यू विल लेफ्ट ओनली That x one three plus x two three, is it clear? Now this problem I am saying we are considering in a balanced transportation problem. You have only m plus n minus one linear constraint constraint. So if it is a balanced transportation problem, what is the condition? 
sum of ai should be equal to sum of bj that means a1 plus a2 should be equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 that means a1 plus a2 ko main kaise likh sakti hu b1 plus b2 plus b3 minus so b1 and b2 will be cancel out so you are left with x1 3 plus x2 3 is equal to your b3 which is nothing but this is your fifth constraint so whatever problem ye to i have applied 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 you can do any operation you will also base get m plus n minus 1 linearly independent constraint is it clear so just to note down here what is your total number of variables yes. not in general i am asking that is you have m n variables total number of linear oh sorry total number of constraints total number of constraints are m plus n but total number of linearly independent constraints will be m plus n minus 1 When you talk about your basic variables, basic variables आपके कब निकलते थे जब आपकी linearly independent equations होती थी बोलते थे ना कि unique solution आना चाहिए अगर उसका infinite solution आता था तो आप उसको बोलते थे non basic solution है So here you have total number of basic variables will be m plus n minus 1 and maximum number of basic feasible solution will be wahan pe kya bolte the basic feasible solution padha tha na n variables hain m constraint hai n c m if you remember something kya bolte the yahi bolte the n is the number of variable m is the number of linearly independent constraint so maximum number of basic feasible solution will be यहाँ पे बेसिक वेरिएबल्स आपके एम प्लस एन माइनस वन लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंट और टोटल वेरिएबल्स कितने हैं एम एन क्विज में क्वेश्चन आए तो इक्वल नहीं लिखना इट इज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ मींस द बेसिक फिजिबल सोल्यूशन विल बी लेस देन इक्वल टू एम एन इंटू सी एम प्लस एन माइनस वन इज इट क्लियर यस और नो इज इट क्लियर so just i am writing down some steps right so whenever like we have written the lpp corresponding to this do you remember we have studied dual also so if you have lpp corresponding to this can you write the dual of transportation problem i have given you lpp can you write the dual so what will be your dual of transportation problem the objective there was minimization so in the dual what will be your objective no constraints what you actually do in your this corresponding to your constraint what you assign variable here you have i is equal to 1 to m constraint i am assigning variable as ui and here you have j is equal to 1 to n constraint i am doing assigning here vj how do you write the dual p aapki jo right hand side hoti thi multiply karte the na dual variables ke sath what is your right hand side here a i and and bj so what will be your dual that will be summation i is equal to 1 to m ai into ui plus is it clear the constraint when you will do it will be your obviously here you have x1 one variable x2 one corresponding to that you will have always ui plus vj right and cost coefficient aapke yahan pe kya ban jate hain right hand side 
then you talk about ui and vj sign x i j kya wahan pe constraint ka sign kya hai greater so yahan pe inequality kya banegi less constraints kya hai equal so ui and vj will be so this will be the dual of your transportation problem is it clear how do you write the lpp fit is given to you how do you write dual is it clear fine just i am explaining you the steps that we will follow to solve the transportation problem if any transportation problem is given to you firstly you have to check what it is saying what is the objective it is saying it is given the maximize the profit or minimize the cost are you getting what i am saying jaise maine source one se destination one pe pehle bola cost hai main transportation problem aise bhi to se de sakti hu ki source one se destination mein main agar product deliver kar rahi hu to mera profit itna hai theek hai so that means either i can give transportation problem to maximize profit or you can do minimization koi bhi method aapne lagana hai agar aapki maximization hai firstly you will convert that problem into minimization if you will not follow this process whole calculation will be and it is very to easy check to check your answer sheet right the first step is wrong all the step is wrong when you have converted into i will tell you how to convert in minimization in the questions right when it is minimization you have to check either it is unbalanced transportation problem or if you will not do this you have to convert every unbalanced transportation problem into your बैलेंस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम अगर ये स्टेप आगे पीछे कर दोगे तब भी गलत है क्योंकि व्हेन यू विल कन्वर्ट पहले आपने अनबैलेंस को बैलेंस कर दिया देन यू आर सेइंग मैक्सिमाइज टू मिनिमाइज द प्रोसेस विल बी रॉन्ग राइट जैसे वहां पे होता था ना कि पहले मुझे वेरिएबल्स ग्रेटर देन 0 बनाने होते थे देन आई हैव टू गो फॉर द राइट हैंड साइड देन आई हैव टू गो फॉर द इक्वालिटी साइड आई विल टेल यू इन द क्वेश्चंस दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट when you convert balanced transportation problem we will first find the initial basic feasible solution then we go for your optimal solution if the optimal solution you have achieved then you will left from that if it is not achieved again you will perform this iteration that you have to go for your final optimal solution is it clear yes or no maybe ssc is wrong initial basic initial. feasible solution you have to revert that steps that you convert again start the optimality process right whenever we do your simplex iteration sabse pehle basic variables aap kya leke chalte the that you take s1 s2 s3 a1 a2 a3 slack or r jo aap kya identity matrix banate the right that is your initial basic feasible solution ab agar aapki 2 cross 3 ki problem hai aapke 6 to variables hi hoge 2 into 3 5 constraints hoge that are your linearly independent sorry 4 constraint 4 constraint equality ke hain fir usme artificial jayega 8 variables and Six or eight constraints. Is it easy to solve? No. So for that, we find the initial basic feasible solution by three methods. One is your northwest corner rule. This is very easy. One is your least cost entry method. one is your vogel's approximation
firstly you will check is the problem given is maximizing or minimizing converting to minimizing check balanced or unbalanced converting to balanced then you can find your initial basic feasible solution then you can go for your optimal solution okay thank you